the distinction between the goal and the target, I mean, the ancient Stoics used the metaphor of an archer, right? The goal is to hit the target, but that isn't where you have to aim often, right? Uh, you have to aim at a kind of virtual target to, so it's the same with virtue, really. You, you have to, or, or if you think about it, uh, what uh, Inwood points out is most of the things that we do have only some probability distribution of success. Uh, doctors, for instance, practice, do what they call best practices. They know they're going to fail a certain amount of time, right? That doesn't mean they stop doing medicine in terms of best practices. It strikes me that for artists, for creative people of various kinds, and especially for maybe the performing arts, this can require special kinds of discipline because, uh, well, think about for performers, it seems that your success versus your failure might have something to do with the immediate impact you have on audiences. I think about actors in a theater versus actors in movies. Uh, and so you're really tempted to go after that, to chase uh, whether you're performing to big, uh, you know, big venues and everybody's going crazy and therefore can't hear the music. Uh, or not. And so I think the Stoics would, would have some good advice for that. They, all, they also have good advice and common sense for the difficulties of creating, right? And how often you have to fail in order to perfect your, skill, your skills and produce something mm -hmm. and how unexpected it can be. Um, so there's a lot in the practical part of Stoicism that is connected to creativity. Yeah, that's interesting. Miles Davis, I think, said, if you're not making mistakes, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, we talk about the Archer metaphor a lot um, in the group and, and on my site because for, and th what you mentioned about the dichotomy of control. And uh, it, it helped me resolve my problems with um, mm -hmm. determinism. It's, you know, you recognition of what is and what is not within your control is the first step. But you also have to remember that what is not within your control may be within your influence. And so as creative people or artistic people, you have to apply yourself to developing your craft, assembling your tools, keeping them, um, you know, polished and up to date, practicing your skills, mm -hmm. maintaining your, your mind and your health. And um, you can't ultimately know uh, what the results may be, whatever, mm -hmm. if, if you're to carry the archer metaphor further, if your aim is to hit the target, mm -hmm. um, you don't control whether the wind takes your arrow off off target or somebody walks in front of it or if somebody knocks the target over. So you can only do a, apply your best efforts and do your best in the moment that you draw back the arrow and release it. And you have to be content that with, with that, that you've done the preparation that you've, that you've put forth your best effort and that whatever results mm -hmm. will provide a lesson that will give you tool or, or give you something to uh, help you iterate and develop your craft and try again another time. Um, what is the, uh, the difference between making the perfect shot and making the shot perfectly? <laughs> Very good. And 
So the best you, what's in your control is maybe making the shot perfectly. 